Reconstruction, the road to reunion. How did the South re-enter the Union after the Civil War? And how did Southern society change without slavery? How did Southerners resist this change? Wanted to make it as easy as Lincoln for Southern states to re-enter the United States. He presented his 10% plan. First, 10% of a state's voters would have to swear loyalty to the United States. Next, they would have to set up their own state government. And third, that state government would have to abolish slavery. Once these three steps were taken, that state could elect representatives to Congress and participate in the national government once again. While this would make it easy for the South to rejoin the Union, many Republicans felt that this was too generous. However, the radical Republicans, such as Charles Sumner, remember, the one who was beat with a cane by Preston Brooks, wanted to take the opportunity to make large social and political changes in the South before Southern politicians regained control. The radical Republicans, in many ways, were idealists who wanted to fix up the South and see a complete change in Southern society. Countering Lincoln's 10% plan, the Wade Davis bill was presented. The Wade Davis bill required that a majority of voters swear loyalty to the United States, and it would not allow any Southerners who had voted for the Confederacy to hold public office. When General Lee surrendered to General Grant at Appomattox Courthouse, the Civil War was over, but the South had yet to fully rejoin the United States. Have you ever seen the website Fail Blog? It's similar to that. You know there's a problem and you try to fix it, but you don't get it quite right. Many Northerners who moved to the South were part of the Freedmen's Bureau set up by Lincoln before the end of the Civil War to ensure the rights of free black men. The Emancipation Proclamation only freed slaves in the Confederate States. It wasn't until the 13th Amendment was passed that slavery was banned throughout the country. The 14th Amendment guaranteed citizenship for all persons born in the United States. It threatened to take away representatives from states who abridged the rights of any citizen.
During Reconstruction, many blacks entered politics. In South Carolina, they made up a majority of the legislature. During Reconstruction, the economy in the South changed from one based on slavery to one based on sharecropping. Freed men, as well as poor whites, offered their services for a small amount of pay to work on plantations. This affected the economy in the South because All of the idealistic hopes of the radical Republicans were not realized during Reconstruction. However, many of the policy changes, including the 13th and 14th and 15th Amendments, were those that helped blacks gain the rights that they gained during the Civil Rights Movement, and also helped women gain the vote during the Women's Suffrage Movement.